Okay, we're here for the second frame in this first semi-final of the Anzac Day tournament. Jake McCartney breaking off his 1-0 up against Brenton Collier. He really go over like the old heave-ho, but didn't get much of a split off the pack. He slaughtered that pack, actually. He's only got one ball. Yellow ball potted. He's, there's only one ball that's sort of in the way, but that red's just stuffed everything for him. Yeah, that's right. That's just that last rolling ball. It's amazing how often that, that one last rolling ball can do so much damage off the break. Yeah, I don't think you can even... Red oh, ball's red nominated. Can. Oh, he's got one over the centre. I didn't think he could get to it, but he can. OK, nominating the red. Just, just advance this, this ball down. Yeah. yeah. He's actually been a bit Ooh, unlucky. That's unlucky. Ball ball's in play. It's always a chance to do that, though. But, yeah, I mean... He's still OK here, though. Like, he's got the ball... He's got the red near the pack. Um, and he can just let the white just can into the other one. He's got the plant. He, he might be able to produce an out still. It might not be on. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here, but it looks on to me. He's playing it. No, he's playing the other ball. He's going to the, to the right corner. Cutting it back. Yeah. Just right. having a look at his cannon angle there. If he plays I see what he might. He might try and play the uh, the split of those two balls yeah, he's gonna toward try. each pocket. It's like that. Look at this shot. Oh, oh great shot from Jay. He's just a freak. Maniac McCartney. Maniac McCartney. I think he might prefer that nickname over the head. <laughs> the head's sticking for life. <laughs> yeah. He was throwing some abuse in my direction yesterday, actually, because because uh, because of the net, that nickname, which I think you gave to him. So I I'm, did. Yeah. Even if he shaves his head, it's not going to change. <laughs> well, he's got it all in front of him. He's, he wants to leave this plan over the hole for some reason. He could probably get much better position on this ball in the middle if he wanted to, but... Mm, just yet. He's confident, though, so he's going for it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. I didn't like price. that. Yeah. Yellow ball's in play. What's he going to do with the seat? Even if he knocked those two balls off, surely stopping on that ball he was trying to get on just then for the black. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, just maybe didn't quite go about that the right way. I'm sure he had a plan, but... I think that's the way I would have gone. Now, Brenton, we get to see a bit of the uh, the talent of the, this young man. He yeah. was on my table in the qualifying, actually. He played pretty well. Yes, the South Victorian. The South Victorian, that's right. Just moved back to South Australia after a sojourn in the Victorian team. And the Australian team. He's in the Australian team, team yep. Yeah. Actually, I think, he's, um, I think he's actually no longer going to England. He was, but mm. he, had a, he had a very good nationals. He played yeah. very, very well. No, he's one of the top young players in Australia at the moment, no doubt about it. And believe it or not, he isn't even using his own cue in this tournament. Yeah, that's right. He, he mentioned that, well, he sort of hinted at that to me earlier, that he didn't have his own cue. He said he was looking around the room for the perfect cue to win the tournament with. I think he just picked up a rack cue now. So, <laughs> I don't know what he's using. He's using Ange's cue. I actually picked um, three players to make the last eight before this whole thing started, like before the Sunday started. Mm -hmm. And uh, for some reason, I picked crazy John Phil Jones. Yep. And I think he made the eight. He did and, make the eight, uh, yep. He I just picked, went out. I picked Brenton. Yep. Uh, I, thought he, I, thought he, I watched him play in the, uh, the comp Friday night and he was just smashing people. Yeah, yeah. And also picked James Della because, well, I mean, everyone's going to pick him to make the last eight. He's dangerous. Absolutely. No Benny Noonan in that mix. Um, oh, when, I, when, I, when I say that, I, when, I'm, when I'm doing the Calcutta, I just have this feeling about people where I think mm. I'm going to get a return. Yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe get a good buy. Okay. But I've got, I'm, I'm shares with Ben and, and JR in the Calcutta for, uh, for Ben, so naturally I had confidence he'd, he'd do mm. well. Yeah, it sort of goes without saying that you'd pick up Ben at almost any price. Mm. Oh, you said that with a lot of side. And he's come unstuck. Mm. Huge amount of side. It was an unusual shot. He sort of pushed through that. I was expecting him to come back off it. Looked like he had a lot of left-hand side on it. It's just mm. checked up off the rail. I'm not, maybe he was trying to get... Uh, maybe he was trying to get really straight on that yellow and maybe double his last one to the black, possibly. Mm. Or screw into Always it. Always possible. Looking for a little safety here, I think.
Nice little tap. Oh, I think he's left it on. He does look happy. Oh. No. It's hard to tell. It does look like the oh, final pass. Yeah, he, he was just playing that with a bit of bit of check side, check off the rail, and he's left Jake on. And I reckon Jake is a good chance to go game. It's been interesting to see if he just rolls this in and plays for that red, because that's really his easy positional ball on the black. Mm. I reckon he'll run through and just get toward the bottom rail. I'm not sure. 30 seconds. Yeah, let's just run through, but I think you'll still play the bottom balls. Yeah, absolutely. It's very important that he doesn't hit this really thin like the white travel. He needs to hit thickish, and that way you can hold the red and the white together, and mm. he's got angle to go up the table there. Will he just bump this first one in and then... He could do that. Yeah, I just suspect he might do that, just come back off it, come out. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, he hasn't got a very good angle. Just red uh, go to the centre, though. To the centre, I see what he's doing now, yeah. Well, that's what he's forced to do. I'm not sure what his plan was, but... Yeah, I, def I definitely don't think he was trying to do that. But he's, he's still OK. The only problem is he's got a fair bit of work to do with the white after he pots this. That's right. It really, really depends on, on what kind of angle he has, isn't it? He's missed this. He's, missed he's it, got yeah. his hand down. Brenton's jumped out of his 200 miles an hour. I know. He's, he's like a bull out of the gates there, wasn't he? And that, uh, that yellow is definitely passing the red over the pocket too. Mm. He's looking at it. It might be closer than we think, but it, is, it looks on to me. Maybe off the jaw, off the red. That's a good opportunity for Jake. He'll be kicking himself over that, I think. Yeah, he won't be happy. Brenton just bumping the ball in well. He wouldn't play it like that if it wasn't on. That's right. He's got a perfect angle, too. Oh, I dropped in. What a shot. <laughs> he's, played, he's played that with so much confidence to move that red that he's actually played position for that pocket. So that's a super shot. You, sh you watch the cue shake up and down here. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> the shake up and down. Brenton Collier. <laughs> yeah, the little extra, extra, extra well, whatever you say, whatever it is. <laughs> Idiosyncrasies of players that you notice over the years. You do pick him up. 